we will be starting with projection of planes all right so we have completed projection of points we have completed projection of points and projection of lines so we will start with projection of plane so what is a plane basically we have certain edges first of all we have certain points so we have a b c and d so we have the points then we have the edges the a b so that is a line so a b is a line similarly bc we have the edge so bc is a line similarly dc or cd we have so that is a line all right and then we have da so all together so points a b c and d so they make up the plane this is the plane so they make up the plane so now what we will do is we will try to project the planes if a plane is at a particular angle or it is at a particular orientation then how it will look if we see from the front and top now this is a plane abcd is a plane which is perpendicular to both planes so this is a plane which is perpendicular so abcd abcd is a plane which is perpendicular to both the horizontal plane so if i draw the area vector here so this will be perpendicular to here so ab uh, this this is the horizontal plane all right so abcd is definitely perpendicular to the horizontal plane and also it is perpendicular to the vertical plane so both horizontal and vertical plane it is parallel to it so what we will see is that we will see just the traces of the plane we will just see the trace of the plane so that is why here what we do is we write vertical trace all right and horizontal trace so this is the horizontal on the horizontal plane the trace of the line or trace of the plane a b c d all right this is what so that is the basically the top view so that is basically the top view So that is the top view. So we see the horizontal trace of the plane ABCD on the horizontal plane. So that is the top view here. Right now, why we call trace? We will see when this plane is a little bit inclined. At the particular direction, all right. So now, since ABCD is already, I mean, the edge AD is parallel to the vertical plane, and the edge DC is parallel to the horizontal plane. So here, make I mean, uh, why we have written the trace? It is I mean, it is difficult to make out. But when we will see about the inclined planes, all right. Inclined means inclined to uh, the edges in is, is inclined to one particular plane all right so we will see how why we do we write them so and if we see from the front all right so if we see from the front we will see the vertical trace of the plane abcd right we will see the vertical trace of the plane abcd on the vertical plane so that is the front view 
so we will not see the plane ABCD in any way from either the front view or the top view of course obviously if we see from the side then we will see the plane ABCD if at all we draw the projection of the plane on the profile plane if we consider the profile plane if we consider the profile plane then of course we will see the projection of the plane a b c d on the profile plane like this but that is out of syllabus so just for information case and just for understanding case so that is what i have told right so we are only conf i mean confined to what will be the projection on the front view of the front view right and the top view on the horizontal on the horizontal plane and the vertical plane all right and the first quadrant projection only all right first quadrant projection only so now this plane is perpendicular to both the planes we will not see the plane in any of the views we will just see the traces of the planes on the horizontal plane and the on the vertical plane and on the horizontal plane so this is the top view so this is the top view this is the top view all right and this is the front view so this is the front view now if now here it is inclined to both the planes it is inclined to both i mean uh, it is perpendicular to both the planes so we have the plane ABCD perpendicular to horizontal plane as well as vertical plane. So here now what we have, we have the plane ABCD. So we have the plane A, B, C and D. It is ABCD plane is parallel to the horizontal plane. So we can see it is parallel to the horizontal plane. All right. And it is perpendicular it is perpendicular to the ABCD is perpendicular to the vertical plane. So when we see from the front, when we see from the front, what we will see is the trace. All right. So here D will be hidden behind A. All right. So A will be projected here. So A dash. And C will be hidden behind B. So B will be projected here. So B dash. All right. So this is the vertical trace. So if I draw the front view so i have x and y so at a particular height h so this is at a particular height h so this that this is also h all right at a particular height h we will see the point a being projected on the vertical plane so we will see the point a at the height h similarly we will see the point b being projected on the vertical plane all right at the height h and this is a dash and this is b dash and this is the vertical trace all right because this is not the projection of the plane all right this is not the projection of the plane this is projection of basically the h a b all right or it is basically the trace of whatever we see from the front onto the vertical plane okay so that is the front view now what about the top view so if we see from the top view we will see the entire plane a b c d a b c d being projected a is projected here a the a b is projected at the point b C is projected at the point C here, all right, and D is projected at the point D. So we have the projection of the entire plane ABCD on the horizontal plane. And there is no traces here, 
right it is direct projection of the plane so we have first of all we have a distance d right or uh, maybe we can use e since d is the point here so we use e so at a distance e we have the point d being projected here so at a point e we have the d point at the point uh, at, again at the same distance e we have the point c all right and then <coughs> at suppose e1 at e1 at e1 we have the point a and the point b and a b c d is the direct projection of the plane on the horizontal plane <coughs> okay so this plane abcd now it is perpendicular to the vertical plane and parallel to the horizontal plane now there may be cases where you will be told that cd is making an angle to the i mean vertical plane okay so it is making an angle to the vertical plane so in that case we will have the plane in this direction so this entire plane will rotate all right so we will have the plane in this direction So this entire plane will rotate about this angle here. So in that case, we will have the projection of the point A here. D will be same at here. So C will definitely be here actually. All right. So that, that is the square here. So. Right. so C will be there so C will move this side so this is C All right. and B will rotate up to here so this will be B somewhere here All right. so this will be the trace this will be the trace of the plane this is C B and A will be here so this will be a dash all right so this will be this will not be seen so d will not be seen all right so b will be seen now so we will have b dash here all right b dash and c will be seen here so we will have c dash of course we are coming to that step by step i am just for a quick uh, introduction into the things I'm just starting it with this one all right so we have rotated the plane so what will happen is that the plane will get rotated now so this angle of rotation will be given all right so we have to draw it from the vertical plane all right so this point will be given so about this point this rotation will be required to be made and then we will project this point here a dash will be here all right this will not be seen this point will be seen here so that will be b dash all right and similarly c will be seen here so that will be c dash so this will be the front view this will be the front view and the top view definitely it will be rotated so this is the top view itself all right then here we see this is a plane so this is a plane triang triangular plane all right so this is a square plane abcd was square plane all right so pqr is a equilateral triangle all right and the plane pqr it is perpendicular to the horizontal plane Like perpendicular to the horizontal plane and it is parallel it is parallel to the vertical plane it is parallel to the vertical plane so obviously 
first of all we will see the front view here so if i if i draw the front view i will directly see p at a point at a height whatever height it is given so that is p so this will be p dash so r will be at a height uh, the same height so we have r so this is r dash all right so this is p dash and this is r dash so this projection is drawn so this projection is drawn then we will have q at the point here so this is the plane all right so this is the plane so we will have q dash so we will have q dash right i hope you know how to draw isosceles triangle so uh, basically you draw first one side all right you draw one side then what you do you take this as radius all right and then this as radius you make one arc and similarly now this as center you make one arc now the, again this as radius now this as center you make one arc all right and you join the points so that is the isosceles triangular plane being plot, projected on the vertical plane directly all right and the trace horizontal trace now all right so we will see only now we will see here you see we will see r no doubt we will see p no doubt and we will also see q which will be projected on here so here we will have all the three points we will have all the three points so this will be q this will be q and this will be p and this will be r so this will be the horizontal trace so that, that we have to write there h t okay so this is the top view and this is the front view so here yeah so here we have the answer all right so here we have the answer so this is the trace on the horizontal vertical plane of the plane abcd so we have this top a front view all right so this is the front view and then when we see from the top we will have the entire plane abcd projected on the horizontal plane all right so that this is the top view so you can see no horizontal trace let's right, so no trace in the horizontal plane but right, it is the jig projection of the plane so we can see the entire plane not less um, means we can see the plane all the points all the points all the edges of the plane we can see if in fact if if abcd is inclined in this manner if abcd is inclined in this manner so we have the plane inclined to the horizontal plane so in that case it will be shortened out all right so the edges d and c edges d and c will be shorted up short, i mean it will be shorter than the its actual length all right so in that case what we have to do is from here we have to draw the angle all right and whatever is the thing uh no here it will be in this manner so here we have to what we will have to do we have to draw this one here all right not this one not this one okay so here you see we if we see from the front we will see this rotation angle of rotation here all right so that will be the angle of rotation so whatever angle of rotation is given we have to draw here so the length will be same as this one all right and then we will project it down all right we'll project it down so c will be here and d b will be here but we will see the entire plane 
right and all the edges and all the points so no horizontal trace all right so this will not be there in that case so this is a, this will be a plane which will be inclined to the horizontal plane all right but it will be perpendicular to the vertical plane all right so always it will be perpendicular to the vertical plane so similarly we have this plane pq r all right so the fun view we have directly here that is the fun view and when we see from top we have the point p projected here so point p projected here point q projected here so q dash projected here so q dash projected up to point q all right and r dash r dash r dash r point projected here so r dash is projected here so r dash is projected here so we have the horizontal trace this is the horizontal trace of the plane p q r we write h t so that we can differentiate between now a line and a plane all right otherwise pq people will think it is a line we will get confused somebody who does not know uh, about uh, how the drawing was made he will get confused he will think that pq is a line but pq is not a line pq is a plane so when we write ht it means that this plane pq r plane is perpendicular to the horizontal plane right it is perpendicular to the horizontal plane okay so here we see what i was talking about this one okay so now this here uh, is inclined to the vertical plane right uh, here in this one i took it inclined to the horizontal plane okay so horizontal plane so here i made the angle of inclination so you, you may be given that it will be inclined at an angle theta to the horizontal plane or it may be in, uh, the edge dc the edge dc may be inclined at an angle phi to the uh, vertical plane all right so those inputs will be given we will see how how we visualize from the question onwards we will try to visualize the things all right one by one so now we have So now we have the plane. So the plane, we have the plane A, B, C, D. We have the plane A, B, C, D. Now it is given that the plane A, B, C, D is perpendicular to the horizontal plane okay so it is perpendicular to the horizontal plane so it is perpendicular to the horizontal plane all right so a so it is perpendicular to the horizontal plane all right so i hope you can make that out it is perpendicular to the horizontal plane then it is said that it is making an angle phi to the vertical plane. It is making an angle phi to the vertical plane. All right. So what we will do is we will first consider the edges so what is the length what is the length of the plane a b what is the length of the plane a b and what is the width of the plane a b a b c d sorry 
of the plane ABCD. So first of all, if we see from top, if we see from top, we will see the point A being projected on the horizontal plane. So we will first from first project the point A on the horizontal plane. Right at the distance, whatever distance is given. So at that distance, we have the point A. All right. Then now it is given that the plane makes an angle phi to the vertical plane. All right. So we will draw a line from the point A, which makes an angle phi to the horizontal plane. Okay, then from here, so from here, so we know that it is perpendicular to the horizontal plane, all right. So here we will have the entire length of the plane, so we will have the entire length, all right. So that we will project on the vertical trace here, all right. So that is the vertical trace. Okay, so from there you can see that C is on the line perpendicular uh, parallel to the intersection of the line x y intersection of the planes x y. All right, so C is on the line per parallel to the line x y. So from here, all right. So we know that C is at a point C and D is at a point suppose H one H from the horizontal plane all right so then we will draw this h here all right at the point h we will draw a perpendicular from the vertical trace all right then again from the point this is the length l all right so this is length l all right so this is l this is l so here we will draw the length of the plane L here. All right. From here again, we will draw perpendicular. Okay. Then we know what is the edge of the line AB. So here, whatever is the length of AB, it, it will be given. So length of, uh, or it will be the width of the plane, basically. Right. Width is equal to AB. Alright, so AB, so AB will be directly plotted here. Alright, so the it will be directly projected on the horizontal plane, on the horizontal plane at this point. So this will be equal to the width of the plane. So AB, AB will be equal to the width of the plane. So this this. All right, so here we see it is directly width of the plane. So this is the width of the plane. And this is the length of the plane. So this is the length of the plane. So now what we do? From here we draw perpendicular. From here we draw perpendicular. So from here we draw perpendicular. From here we draw perpendicular. Then we have to project the point D dash and C dash, all right, on the vertical plane. On the vertical plane. So what we do, we project the point A like this, all right, straight to A dash. So we join this line. So we join this line, and we join this. So we see that the intersection of the points is C, intersection of the points is D, and similarly we have A dash and B dash. So we draw this line. So we draw this line. Right. Similarly, we draw from B point, we draw the 
projection here all right so from the point b we draw the vertical line here all right so ultimately we see that the intersection point the intersection point of the horizon horizontal trace and the vertical trace is the plane projection of the plane on the vertical plane right plane a b c d so we have the plane a b c d okay conversely it may be given that uh, the plane is making an angle phi so and b is on at higher distance of from the vertical plane or d is from the distance something from the vertical plane so ultimately whatever is that the first point you have to, we have to make it out okay so here if it is given that the point b lies on the vertical plane so we have to draw the horizontal trace here itself because point b is lying on the vertical plane all right point b is lying on the vertical plane so here it will be the top view phi dash if point b is lying on the vertical plane all right but point b is at a distance something from the vertical plane so it is given there all right and the plane a b c d is making an angle phi to the vertical plane all right and it is perpendicular to the horizontal plane it is perpendicular to the horizontal plane okay so we have to remember that okay we have to remember that so here the plane here the plane was here the plane was perpendicular to horizontal plane perpendicular to horizontal plane okay and inclined to the vertical plane inclined at an angle phi to the vertical plane now here here the plane here the plane is you can see the plane is inclined to the horizontal plane and it is parallel to the vertical uh, sorry perpendicular to the vertical plane all right so whether the plane is like this or like that or whatever it is ultimately the plane is perpendicular okay so it is it is perpendicular to the vertical plane okay so then again first, first of all what we do is we see from the front all right we see from the front so we see the vertical trace here all right we see the vertical trace here making an angle making an angle theta to the horizontal plane okay so we draw the line x y all right and we locate either either point b may be given all right either point a may be given so I mean some something may be given all right so we at an angle theta we draw this all right we draw this so then we have located the point a dash or b dash and then the edge a b will be given all right so the edge length of the edge a b will be given so we draw the top view uh, for, sorry the front view all right so the front view we draw the front view the front view then again what we do from this point we draw the horizontal trace here all right on the horizontal plane here so we we draw the horizontal trace 
so edge c b or d a will be given so whatever is the dimension here we will know all right the point c or d is at a distance e from the vertical plane all right so that will be given so that will be given so this will be given all right so this will be given so here at this distance we draw the length of the plane all right then from at a distance e all right we draw the parallel line to x y all right since it is perpendicular so here it will be parallel all right so here we draw the line this one similarly from here we draw the line a b to the horizontal trace so we have drawn the line a b to the horizontal trace and d c to the horizontal trace so these two lines are drawn then again from a again from a we draw the projection we want to get the projection of c and a and d so to get the projection of a and d we draw the line from a dash to a so from a dash to a we join through d all right we join through d again from b dash we join up to b okay again from b dash we join up to b so ultimately d will be projected here the point c will be projected here the point a will be projected here and the point b will be projected here all right and this will be the projection of the plane abcd top view projection of the plane abcd on the horizontal plane and if we extend the plane if we extend the plane you will see that it cuts the horizontal plane at this point at this line right? so that is the horizontal trace okay and if we extend the line if we extend the plane all right so if we extend the plane through a to d up to the vertical plane and from b to c to the vertical plane all right so we will the plane a b c d will cut the vertical plane at a dash b dash here all right so that is the vertical trace so this is the horizontal trace so a b c d extended will cut the horizontal plane at this line all right and abcd extend will cut the vertical plane on this line so vertical trace cutting on the horizontal plane we have the horizontal trace all right so this and this ultimately combining these two all right we get the projection top view projection of the plane abcd and here here combining the two we got the front view projection of the plane abcd all right because it is perpendicular to the horizontal plane so from uh, it, since it is perpendicular to the horizontal plane if we see from top we will see only the edge ab all right projected projected on the plane horizon, uh, horizontal plane okay So just try to recollect the thing. Uh, my pen is not working properly. I have to extend the uh, this one. Okay. So just recollect the things what I have said. Right. How the planes are.
Okay, so here we are. So we started from here, all right. So just again a revision before we move on to the actual drawing, all right. Uh, okay, we will. I think we will start with the drawing. Okay. So first of all, we need to visualize. Okay, so it is very important to visualize the problem. So projection is all about where the problem will be in the space. Right? So we have. Uh, two two planes basically. So where the points will be, the various points will be, all right. And ultimately, we have to convert that into a two D image, all right. So that is the main idea. So here, what we have is we have an equilateral triangle, fifty mm side, fifty mm side, right, and its vertical trace is parallel to is parallel to and 25 mm above xy all right so what it is written so first of all let us draw one rough sketch so we have the line xy all right so what is the vertical trace means so we have a equilateral triangle okay So first of all, we will visualize the plane. So this is the plane, two planes. So this is the vertical plane and this is the horizontal plane. So vertical trace is parallel to and 25 mm above XY. So what is the vertical trace? So vertical trace is the trace of the intersection of the plane of the I mean the given plane with the vertical plane yes or no so the vertical plane vertical trace is parallel to m25 mm above xy so this is xy so this is xy x and y so parallel to m25 mm above so definitely it is parallel to xy first of all all right so it is parallel to and it is given 25 mm above xy so it is 25 mm above xy so first of all what i will do 
I will draw a line, a simple line, right? Very, very light line, which is at a distance 25 mm. You need not show this 25 mm, okay? I am just showing it for, uh, I mean, uh, understanding purpose. So, at a distance of 25 mm, you draw a line parallel to XY. Okay, so this line should be parallel to XY. Another distance 25 mm above the XY. It has no horizontal trace. So it has no horizontal trace. So what does that mean? So it has no horizontal trace. So we come here. So we see, let us see where, where was the case where we had no horizontal trace. All right. So here we had no horizontal trace. So the plane was parallel to the horizontal plane. So we had no horizontal trace. All right. So the plane was parallel to the horizontal plane. So in this case, in this case, the triangle will be the triangle will be parallel to the horizontal plane. First of all, okay. So it is parallel to the horizontal plane that we know. Now draw its projection. When one of its sides is inclined at 45 degree to the vertical plane, again it is given. Draw its projection. When one of the sides is inclined at 45 degree to the vertical plane. So that means one of the sides. So one, one of the sides is inclined at 45 degree. So we consider suppose this side. So that side is inclined at an angle 45 degree to the vertical plane sorry and it has not given us uh, anything about the point from distance from the vertical plane all right so it is it is it has not given anything about the point distance from the vertical plane so what we will consider is we will take one of the point on the vertical plane itself all right so we have a i, I mean a equilateral triangle all right, it, equilateral triangle. So all the three sides are equal. All right, so it is 50 mm, 50 mm, and 50 mm. All right, and one of its sides is inclined at 45 degree to VP. So if if suppose I say this is B, Q, and R. So I will consider suppose P to be on the point of vertical plane. All right, so I consider P here. So if I consider P here, then I will get directly the top view projection that is small p here. All right, so that is small p I will get here. Okay. So we have the plane, we have the trace, all right? we have the trace, and from here we will consider that one edge is making an angle of 45 degree, and we will draw the other two edges like this. All right? And since it is given it has no horizontal trace, that means it is parallel to the horizontal plane. It is parallel to the horizontal plane. So we will draw the projection, so this is the angle a point P so I will have the top view projection of the point P here so this will be P so similarly I will have the top view projection of point Q suppose this is Q all right so I will have small Q here and I will have R small R here so I will have the projection top view projection in this manner all right then I will project R here, Q 
queue wherever it lies all right ultimately they will be at the same level of the vertical trace all right they will all lie on this line so i have drawn the point p small p then at an angle of 45 degree at an angle of 45 degree i will draw a line any line okay then at 50 mm point at the 50 mm distance at a 50 mm distance i will mark the point r small r all right because this will be the top view all right because this will be the top view then we will uh, uh, draw the point q now we have to draw the point q all right so from these two we will take we will take a radius and from p i will mark one radius and r as center and pq as uh, this uh, diameter again i will mark one arc here and i will join the three points so this is the point q small q all right of the point capital q projected on the horizontal plane projected on the horizontal plane so now from here i will draw the projection i have to draw the projection of r on the vertical plane all right so i will draw the process so i will draw r and project it up here all right so r will be projected straight up so this is r dash all right p will be projected up so this is p dash in fact p we will not see actually p we will not see it will be hidden by the line pq uh, rq all right if you see from the front if you see from the front if you see from the front p will not be visible only this edge qr will be visible all right so we will project the point q all right so this will be q dash all right and this will be the vertical trace this will be the vt all right, and this will be the top view so no no ht okay so uh, i think uh, from the explanation it is now clear what is the vertical trace what is the horizontal trace all right if there is no vertical trace or if there is no horizontal trace what does it mean so if there is no horizontal trace that means the plane is parallel to the horizontal plane so it is not intersecting the horizontal plane at any point if there is no vertical trace that means obviously it is parallel to the vertical plane all right so in that case if if it says that it has no vertical trace so the plane will be of this manner so it will be parallel to the vertical plane so that is why there is no vertical trace that means the plane is not intersecting the vertical plane at any point so no vertical trace all right so here yeah so here what i have taken i have taken So here they have taken some arbitrary distance, all right. So here they have taken some arbitrary distance. This is also correct, all right. So they have taken some arbitrary distance here. So here you see, so they have taken some arbitrary distance and this is the inclined edge, all right. So you can see, Right. so here they have uh, shown c dash just for uh, i mean understanding purpose but in actual drawing it will be hidden if you, if you see from the front the point c will not be visible all right the point a and b will be visible so a is here a dash all right b you will see b dash okay so what i have considered here is i have considered the i have rotated the triangle in this manner 
all right they have rotated the triangle in the other way all right so just that is the difference so here you see the vertical trace is at a height 25 mm from the point from the line x y okay and one of the edge one of the edges making an angle 45 degree so that is the main important point okay so that it should satisfy and of course the edges of the equilateral triangle is 50 mm okay so in in this case in this case we have the plane like this we have the plane all right so we have the trees uh, so uh, one of the edge is at 45 degree and from here we have the triangle in this manner all right so we have at a height 25 mm all right all of the points a b c d are at a height 25 mm from the horizontal plane right so this is the plane here which is at a height twenty five mm from the horizontal plane so this is the plane okay then now let us consider one more one more example so we have a square we have a square abcd of 40 mm and its corner on the horizontal plane okay its corner is one and side has a corner on the horizontal plane and 20 mm in front of the vertical So we have a square, all right? So ABCD, we start from ABCD. We have a, we have a square ABCD. So A, B, C, and D, all right? And each of the edges are 40 mm. All right. has a corner on the HP all right so if if we if you draw now suppose if you draw the plane if you draw the planes so this is the vertical plane all right and this is the horizontal plane so it has a corner on the horizontal plane so and 20 mm in front of the vertical plane so first of all we have the corner at the 20 mm from the horizontal plane right and on the uh, from the vertical plane sorry 20 mm in front of the vertical plane all right so 20 mm in front of the vertical plane and on the horizontal plane and on the horizontal plane so it is on the horizontal plane so this point is located so suppose let us consider this point to be a all right this is a so i will for now erase this part so that a is visible so we have located the a Then it is written all the sides of the square are equally inclined to the horizontal plane.
of course this is a uh, i mean contradictory statement because suppose if i if i consider now let us consider the plane a b c d to be in this manner so we have the plane a b c d so here a b has an inclination of 0 degree while a d will have an inclination of 90 degree okay so suppose i rotate it i will rotate it i will rotate it in such a manner that the angle a b with the horizontal plane whatever it makes all right is same as a what the angle a d makes with the horizontal plane here all right in this in this angle so the thing is that i will rotate the plane in this manner like this all right so initially the plane was like this if if you see from the front if you see from the front the initially the plane was like this then i've rotated it all right in this manner now this angle is making 45 degree if i consider this as the inclination so this is 45 degree of course it will be contradictory if i consider this angle but anyway uh, there is no other way so we will consider this as 45 degree and this as 45 degree so it is inclined so ultimately we have a we have rotated the square so that it may uh, make some so that the sides of the square are equally inclined to the horizontal plane okay so we have rotated the square so when we have rotated the square so now we have to draw the front view first all right we will draw the front view so we are ready to draw the front view all right so what we will do is <laughs> we will draw the line x y all right we will draw the line x y then so if you see from the front view the point a is on the horizontal plane all right so it will be projected directly on the line x y on the line x y so this is a dash all right so a dash this is the front view so this will be the front view a dash all right then from a dash i will draw 45 degree this one 45 degree this one all right i hope they are all 45 degrees anyway it's looking 45 degree okay so these two edges are drawn then from these two points i will join and make the square all right so all of the edges are 40 mm so this is a dash so this will be if that is b so this will be b dash and this will be c dash all right and this will be d dash so this is the front view all right so no h uh, no vt so no vt no vertical trace because this plane it will not intersect the vertical plane at any point so no vertical trace okay then now we have to find out the horizontal trace we have to find out the horizontal trace So we have to find out the horizontal trace so the plane is in this manner right in front of the vertical plane and this parallel to the vertical plane now we have to find out the 
top view all right so the horizontal trace so to draw the horizontal trace we will draw this line we will project the point b dash here and we have we know that this is 25 mm it is given or 20 mm sorry it is 20 mm 20 mm it is given here all right so 20 mm in front of vp so 20 mm in front of vp so we will first project the point b dash up to this point so intersection of the line then from here that is the vp we will project 20 mm point here so this is b that is the top view of b okay of the point b of the point b this is the point b and this is the top view then we will project the point d dash all right so again we are here so at 20 mm so we will have d dash at the point here so d dash we have here all right c dash we will have here because when we see from top we will see the point c dash all right and this will be the horizontal trace all right so we can see it is equal to the diagonal of the square all right diagonal of the square so these are all 45 degree all right so we have satisfied the things so here this is the answer all right so we have the answer here like this okay so here they have considered d dash at the point where i have considered a dash but the same thing all right so this point b dash it is here all right b and c dash is here c and a dash is here a so if you see the three-dimensional view if you see the three-dimensional view it will be somewhat like this all right so we have the plane the projection of the plane first i will draw so that it becomes easier for me to draw the so here from here 20 mm from here 20 mm from here 20 mm but i will join these points so from here 20 mm and i will join this points so this is the plane all right which is in front of the vertical plane all right and this is the projection the front view position this projection okay and if we see from the top view then this point will be projected on the horizontal plane this point will be projected on the horizontal plane through this point obviously and this one will be projected on the horizontal plane ultimately they will be here so this will be the horizontal trace all right at the distance at the distance 20 mm as it is given in the question here 20 mm in front of the vertical plane okay so this is what we have here right so i hope you have understood okay uh, i will stop here for now the projection of planes all right so projection of planes i will stop here and you go through whatever we have uh, discussed right <laughs> whatever we have discussed i will upload the ppa ppt all right so thing is that we have to visualize so let's step by step we have to break down the problem into series of steps of course we are going to two to three more problems so that it becomes uh, very clear of uh, what we need to do so that uh, you can do any kind of problem so 